Well, once upon a time in a land called D.C., there was a human responsible for the management of our nuclear waste <laughs> in our country. It turns out he also happens to steal women's clothing from baggage claims and wears it as a cross-dressing, non-binary person. He also has uh, some sort of like obsession with red lipstick and the way he puts it on is very kind of cartoonish. Did you see that too? Yeah, it's, it's a little weird. It's weird. Like, you know, wh why not hire this guy and make him in charge of hundreds of people and billions of dollars, of course, when it comes to our nuclear, nuclear waste. waste yeah. yeah, of course. Joining us now, host of the Marquet Show, Marquet. So we have to talk <laughs> about Sam Brinton. He was busted again. Uh, yeah. 2018, it looks like he stole some poor woman's l luggage, and she was she happened to notice online. She happened to notice online that, uh, hey, he's wearing my one-of-a-kind uh, dress. Uh, and, um, oh, look, there he is with his, like, green lipstick. Um, oh, but, yeah, yeah that's one of the outfits. That's one of the outfits and her jewelry, and she noticed it on him. So this guy's been doing this for a really long time. This poor fashion designer out of uh, Houston, Texas, originally from Tarzania, was like, hey, that's that's my dress. What what do you think, Marquet? Are you surprised by all of this? Well, I'm very excited about the Sam Britton story because I've finally found my Halloween costume for this year. Right, I already have the hair. Oh, I see a little lipstick. lipstick. Yeah, yeah, a little bright red lipstick. Some uh, some one of a kind fashion. I'm holding you, know. you to that, Mark. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I all wish right. you would have been I'll... wearing that outfit right now. You and me, Carl, we'll go trick or treat. Well, I have to go to church in a minute. They wouldn't They wouldn't really. Anyway, uh, but the, the fact of the matter is, this guy, I mean, I don't know if he's targeting these people or if it was just dumb luck that he picked one-of-a-kind fashions from, as you said, this Tanzanian fashion designer who happened to see the photos. Uh, it was Christina Pushaw from right here in Florida who works for the governor, tweeted online the photos from Vanity Fair. Vanity Fair magazine did a huge piece on Sam Britton because they thought they were really cool. And lo and behold, all the fashions, or at least a large portion of the ones he was wearing in that magazine, were stolen and now are going to become evidence in whatever criminal proceedings uh, go forward. So you really couldn't, I mean, you really couldn't sit down and if you were a comedy writer in Hollywood trying to figure out the most farcical thing to come up with, That's you really couldn't paint a better picture or come up with a better storyline than Sam Britton, luggage thief. Unbelievable. He also made up that he said his father held him up at gunpoint and his sister came out and said he made it all up. It's just so bizarre. How did this oh, guy yeah, the, get hired? When he was younger, they uh, he he created this entire drama about being sent to a um, homosexual conversion <sighs> camp, you know, right. where they pray the gay out of you. And his sister and his parents have said, that's ridiculous. We didn't do any of that. Plus, there's, of course, no record of him attending a camp. When you ask him about it, he can't tell you anything about the camp, which is weird because most people that attend these kind of camps or have been through that kind of experience are really eager to share that message with the world. So, uh, yes, he's no longer a government employee. Um, he's now just kind of, you know, for satire now. for the rest of us. For yeah. now. <laughs> for for right. now. It, 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 Maybe. Uh, all right. So in equally as funny news, it's unfortunate that it's the leader of the free world, but Joe Biden is getting trolled by a, star, a stair lift advertisement company. Put this tweet up. <laughs> Look at this. It said, tired of stumbling up the stairs? We strive yeah. to help all of those in need across the nation. Whether you live in a small town USA or on Pennsylvania Avenue, we're ready to help you <laughs> regain your independence. Contact us today for your free obligation or no obligation quote and then benny johnson retweeted this guy up here <laughs> we, we laugh but i'm telling you this is coming uh, this is coming did this is coming look, for him. mark make it he's got stop. two more years left of his uh his term make carl it stop. you know i sent you my notepads you know that i am a firm believer that joe biden has done more for the troll economy in this country i mean making fun of joe biden selling products off of his gaffes and you know, trolling him with whatever it is, notepads, books. Memes. I have your notepads that are awesome. I know, look, <laughs> I got them too. And, and they are, it is a lucrative business. Joe Biden is doing more for the novelty items in this country than any other president before him. And I say, God bless it, we're a capitalist society. If you want to use the president's inability to walk up a flight of stairs on multiple occasions to sell uh, chairlifts, I mean, that's, that's what America is all about, isn't it? Unreal. I, I, I know. You, I actually bought my husband one of those sweaters yeah. where he's like, it's a, he's wearing a Santa hat and it says Happy Easter. Yeah. Happy Easter. <laughs> uh, you know the thing. Yeah, the thing. So um, speaking about the thing, uh, Chaz Chop Zone, Seattle. There, you know, when, when all those crazy hippies took over you know, six or eight blocks in, in, in downtown Seattle, sure. 
they were like, hey, this is the summer of peace or the summer of love. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. And now it turns out all these businesses were like, hey, dude, you didn't defend my business. I pay my taxes for cops to do this. You didn't do it. And now I've lost all this money. They're paying millions of dollars to these businesses. And they, they don't seem that the, the, the officials still don't seem to understand that it was not right. Yeah, well, I mean, go woke, go broke. I mean, that's the, that seems to be the uh, motto of the year. Anytime a company goes woke or allows woke behavior to this level, whether it's taking over six city blocks for the summer of love, which didn't two people get shot? I don't know how peaceful that protest was. Uh, but, you know, the Disney World uh, problem going on here in Florida. Whatever it is, the woke culture, they don't care about They don't care about anything. I mean, this is this is very similar to the Sam Britton issue. If you don't believe science, if you don't believe the basics of a, of the male and female gender, if you're willing to suspend the laws of nature, well, the laws of man are nothing. Let's suspend those too. Let's just do whatever we want: break windows, take over city blocks, steal bags full of expensive designer dresses, and wear them on the red carpet. Laws mean nothing. Neither the laws of nature nor the laws of man. And any politician who goes along with it and placates it just so that they can get political support in their election is going to pay the price. And as you see in Seattle and other places, that price is millions and millions of dollars to ticked off tenants. And by the way, did you notice that none of the other lefty uh, mainstream cable stations, they didn't even cover the Sam Britton yeah. story, the 2018 that he stole the suitcase and the fashions and all that. You know, Meanwhile, yeah. if it was a Republican... Whatever. But uh, anyway, next time, Marque, <laughs> we see you on, I want to see that signature red lip and I want to see you wearing the bright colored dress because I, really I am think going, you could pull it off. I think you could look even better than Sam Britton, by the way. Thank you, Lydia. I'm going to the airport right now to snag a bag <laughs> and I will do it. I will do it. Marque, thank you so much for joining us.